My name is Gertrude Van Dyne. The Zenith Talent Agency sent me down here. I understand you're looking for someone to play the part of a parent? Mother. <laughs> How do I look? Oh, like a million dollars, honey. That's the magic number. Oh, yeah. It's almost three o'clock. Gertrude, do you remember how you're supposed to act? Oh, yes. I'm supposed to be so ritzy that even my dog barks with a broad A. Fine. <laughs> you waiting here until I call you. Oh, don't worry, dear. I've never missed a cue in my life. <laughs> Hello, Tommy. Hello, Mike. Girls, I'd like you to meet my mother. Howdy. <laughs> These are Mike's sisters, Retta and Loco. Howdy, gals. How do you do? Hello. Uh, uh, wouldn't you like to sit down? Oh, yes, certainly. See, you've got a mighty nice place here, gals. You know that? Thank you. Uh, Tommy? Ah. Oh, she's back right there. Are you comfortable, Mrs. Seaton? Well, to tell you the truth, my feet are killing me in these fancy shoes. <laughs> Tommy tells me you're a right, nice, down-to-earth girl. Even though your family did come over on the Mayflower. Come on, Mom, knock it off. Ah, yeah, heck, our family could have come over on the Mayflower, too. Except they were already here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, forgive me, Mrs. Seaton. I didn't mean to stare. It's just that you're so different from what we expected. Well, you're not the first one to tell me that. It's my fault for sending Tommy to those Eastern colleges and... Getting all gussied up there. Then you're not from high society? Well, in Indian Springs, Montana, we're pretty high society. <laughs> Ever since Pa found all that copper on the ranch, I guess we don't rate so high here in the East. That's the main reason I wanted you to meet Mom, so you'd see, in spite of the yacht club and everything, we're just plain ordinary people. But you know, I'm right anxious to meet your mom. Where is she? Did someone call? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh, we have company, I see. Uh, how nice. Uh, well, do introduce us, child. Mother, I'd like you to meet Mrs. Seaton and her son, Tommy. Oh, charmed. Why didn't you tell me they were here, Pat? Uh, uh, Mike, Mother. Oh, <laughs> mother does so love her little jokes. <laughs> when they're that little, they need loving. <laughs> now then. Tell me, Mrs. Seaton, don't you find New York too utterly frightful in the summer? Well, now I... I was so hoping to get up to our Connecticut estate for the season, but I'm absolutely pinned down by all my club committee work. Mother... You know the opera fundraising drive <laughs> and the Daughters of the Mayflower annual ball. Of course, you are a member. No, we don't have that kind of stuff out in Indian Springs. Mother, uh, Indian Spring. We're too busy punching cows most of the time. Mother, don't you think we'd better have our tea now? Oh, yes, tea. That's an excellent suggestion. Uh, but where are the servants? Oh, my dear, the quality of help these days is simply abominable. As a matter of fact, I think I'll go and give them a piece of my mind right now. Uh, Mother, aren't you forgetting that the kitchen is that way? Oh, quiet, child. Your mother knows what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are again. <laughs> Where were we? Mother, the guests. Oh, yes, Pat, yes. Uh, 
Those people from North Dakota. Montana, honey. Way out west where men are men. And I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Remember that I am the mother of a blue blood. Blue blood? Never did know what that meant. Why, when my baby was born, her blood was so blue, you'd have thought she swallowed a bottle of ink. Incredible. Indelible. <laughs> <laughs> My dear child, how do you manage to get mixed up with such unpleasant people? Now, hold on. I don't care if you are Mike's mother. Uh, oh, please let me explain. I yes, you see, uh, we'd like to try it. <laughs> <laughs> Skip and show. One can't turn around these days without bumping into the nouveau riche. What? I don't know what that means, but it sounds right unfriendly. I simply cannot imagine what these people are doing in my house. Come on, Mom, put your shoes on and let's get out of here. Oh, but Tommy, won't I see you again? Not around here. I'm fed up with this Eastern snobbery and I've put up with a lot of it, but this is the last straw. Maybe we're not good enough for people like your mother. But the feeling is mutual. Son, I kept telling you all along we ought to go back to the ranch where we belong. And you're dead right, Mom. Montana, here we come. <laughs> Child and good rest is missing, son. Now, who else we expect in petite? <laughs> Take a bow, Gertrude. You just closed the show. <laughs> I'm afraid I failed you as a mother. Oh, forget it. But I feel so useless, so empty. You should see your flask. <laughs> well, let's not be bitter, girls. What's done is done. Tommy's just another millionaire who walked off into the sunset. But it's all your fault, you know. Our fault? Yes. You told me you wanted me to be high society. Now, if you'd only told me you wanted a Western gal, <laughs> why, heck, that's one of my favorite parts. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> Hotel, won't you come out tonight? Come on.